You want more Boston action, do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Good, because I'm about to bring you it. If you missed today's earlier episode, link top line of the description. I've been as helpful as possible. Welcome back as we face Chorley in the Vanarama National League North. Our favourite place. We wouldn't want to be anywhere else other than League 2 or something. Uh, you'll know if you saw today's earlier episode then that we've played uh, Halifax and York earlier on. Defeat in the league but success in the cup uh, see us progress further and Coventry has now been decided as the game that we'll play. Uh, we're going to skip the Barrow game and go straight to the Coventry game if that's alright with everyone. Everyone on board with that? Lovely. Uh, so Chorley and Coventry to come today, as I think that FA Cup game is somewhat more exciting. I'll do anything for you guys. I'll do anything. Ah, hello. So our two most prevalent and best midfielders are both unavailable today. Oh, okay. Right, Kian Taylor can come back in. Actually, no, this is fine. We've got Oxley Chamberlain on one side. We've got uh, Clunin on the other. And it's like nothing's changed, other than about four stars in terms of ability. <laughs> And also, for those that were watching last time, uh, we can bring Whitley back in as well. So, for those that watched last episode, you'll know this team. If you watch the, the series at all, you'll know it. Uh, Whitley will be in goal. Minivan at right back. Cantrell at left back. Pennell, Statham. You know, those two, Pennell and Statham. They're like they're like the new baddies in, um, in what's it called? The Fast Films, probably. Mainly because Jason Statham's in it. So, it makes sense. It could be another brother, couldn't he? I know he uses a different other Shaw and all that. Uh, whatever. Have you seen the films? They're about driving around and then a bit of love, bit of hate, bit of anchor, shooting submarines, all sorts. I I want to say this isn't an ad. It feels like this could be an ad. Some of you out there will be furious. Fast and the... F <sighs> Taylor will be at anchor, man. Oxo Chamberlain, <laughs> Box to Box midfielder. Uh, Cluden will be next in. Comley behind Edwards and Williams. Although we might change this up. Let's get Ebanks Blake on there from the off uh, as a deep line playmaker. Deep line playmaker, deep line forward on a supportive duty. I want him to be the link between Comley and Ebanks Blake and then Edwards will score all the goals. That's... That's what I've got in mind. All right, surely away. Um, oh, please win. I've seen a few of these boys play in the real world as well, because obviously, as I've mentioned last time we played them, uh, this was the game I saw live. Like Martin Tyler live. And it's live. I'm, I'm still available for voiceover work. Uh, have been for four years. Not had too many inquiries. All right, the games begin then. We, of course, are in the orange. They are in the uh, red and black, red and black, red and black. Yeah, red and black. <laughs> I've got, I, I, my heart wasn't in that. Could you tell? I just thought, I thought it made sense. So they've got a corner, played to the edge, and um, it's saved and offside, disallowed. Excellent. Good. Josh Wilson there. No goal. Let's see if it was indeed offside. And, pff, I mean, it was, but not by a great deal. Now, of course, last time we played York, we were without two key players. Uh, and now, against Chorley, we are without two key players. But Minivan is racing forward at full speed. Ball played in. Imax Blake's gone over his head, though. And it looks like they're going to get this clear. They do. And uh, we're not putting a massive amount of pressure on him early. We were a bit late on that, actually. And it gave him time to find a pass. Good hold-up play from there, number nine. As we've just let him run through there, which is very good of us. Very kind. Very charitable. What are we doing? It's like we lost him. We, we genuinely we're looking at each other going, where's he gone then? You can see it. His movement over on this side. Hopefully he stays on screen. Oh, he's gone. Even we've lost him. No, you can see he just runs in behind. The most obvious of, of things to ever do. And 1-0 Chorley. All right, we're go I'm going to go... See, I want to get more positive, but I'm going to stay on balance for now. We're going to just try and see this out a little bit. We'll, we'll push forward. We'll try and look for a goal. Let's, oh, well, that's worked like a treat. Corner played in. It's headed clear. Surely Minivan scores again! He's on a, he's a, it's a goal. For, what is happening? I've changed his name to Minivan. And he scored three goals in two episodes. I don't really know what's going on at this point. It's knocked down. It falls to him. Right place, right time. And we're back on level terms. Corner, free kick. What a, a set piece. It's not gone in. I don't know what was going on. I just knew it was a dead ball situation. That, I've worked out. I'm like a police officer, say it. All right, as we get towards half time, Chorley and us are very, very even. So whoever wins this will gain quite the advantage over the other. And at half time, I'm going to get aggressive. I'm going to say I'm not happy because so far we've not really been that good, um, which is the, the biggest concern of all. The problem is our bench has not got a massive amount to change. I'm not going to go quite as direct with some of the passing and our attacking width is going to be a little more narrow to suit, of course, how we play. Let's try and focus our play through the middle for the second half. I try and keep it sort of as widespread and balanced as possible. That's sort of partially why I play balanced as well. Um... Just to keep, just to give it an all-round fit. It's like a, it's like a mixture that you just put it all together and it works perfectly. And that's the, hopefully the plan. 
he says, while being 14th with Boston United. So the time here is ticking away. Um, there's a temptation to take Ebanks, Blake or Edwards off, but I just think there are two most devastating forwards as uh, the game continues. Now, again, there's, there's a temptation here, viewers, to go positive and look for a winner. Um, I'm going to demand a bit more for the final 10 minutes. We'll see if we can get something. Garner a chance as the time is ticking away. Clearly, they think the Coventry game is more exciting. But it looks as if then our response to getting uh, pummeled by... Just hold that thought, everyone. Okay. Uh, getting pummeled by York uh, is to get a decent point away at Chorley. I mean, losing this would have been a disaster. Drawing it, not too bad. All right, then. We go on to the next game, which won't be Barrow. That'll be in between. I'll obviously let you know how that goes, though. Uh, but Coventry City, uh, away from home in the FA Cup second round. We'll see you for it. Oh, very quickly, and this will probably be asked about in the future in other episodes. So if you see this now, you can fill people in. Um, there are no changes to the current work permit system and no new restrictions on European players. Uh, our Brexit has basically left everything exactly the same. So it's soft, soft Brexit. Right, well, I'll still give you an update of the, uh, the Barrow game. 3-1 winners. So I wish I'd done this one now. The big news, though, is that Matthew Smith's injured for the Coventry game, probably. So let's see how bad that is. A good win, boys. Well done. Why can't we always do it like that? And I've got to play Coventry and probably get absolutely destroyed. Smith is out for... Yeah. Well, actually, he could play through the injury. He's got a fractured lower arm, but he could play, take part in light training and play through it. Well, yes, that one. The thing is, this might be a mistake, right? But if he's barely training and he's just playing, he's only at his arm. It doesn't affect his legs, does it? It's already fractured. So, I mean, what, what more can go wrong? See, it says we're losing him. We're not losing him. He's playing with it. He's playing with it. He's suspended, so he can't play anyway. Oh, right, good. Yep. All right, we'll put the ox next to him because it's the only thing that we can do. Right, Coventry in three days. Let's let's see. We're going to have an interesting January, in which I'm looking to sign people. We could sign people every time and all the time, but I like to do it in January. The FA Trophy first round. Let's do a quick draw all teams on that. Uh, Guysley, we've played them before. Doddle. The th oh, right. I just skipped the third round draw because I thought it'd be fine, but I'm aware I've skipped it. Who, if we beat Coventry, what's the prize? Barnsley. Well, what a oh, what an opportunity. They are 23rd in the championship. Uh, wow. Okay, then. Kind of pleased we didn't do the draw now because that would have been wholeheartedly underwhelming. I thought it was just a generic bit of like training report, but it wasn't. It was, this is the third round draw and I missed it. All right, this has been a nice distraction as I've got a job offer from Bohemians. Do I want to go to the Irish Premier Division? Well, maybe at the end of the year if they don't offer me a new contract. Teams keep offering trials for my players. Carl Shower, three weeks at crew. Yeah, go and train with some better players for a bit. Yeah, yeah, enjoy it. You're 16. Are you much better than we ever really realised? Maybe. I mean, who knows? Right then, Coventry. Loads of players have got yellow card situations on their hands. Uh, let's just fill up this bench a moment. Slew can go on there as well. I've put the Millennium Baby on, but he's done nothing for ages and he's not as good as I thought. So, uh, Whitley will be in goal. Mini Van Satham, Pennell and Cantrell across their back. Kian Taylor, Oxley Chamberlain, James Jones, James Conley and uh, Edwards and Williams up front. Uh, Ebanks Blake will be on the bench for this one. Again, the temptation to start him is pretty strong, but we'll go with the Williams. He's, he's a bit bigger. Away at the Rico Arena. Um, this will quite, probably be quite good financially. The Rico Arena is not too small, is it? So, this might be good for us. They're playing a very, what feels defensive, 4-5-1 um, with some decent players in there. A few that I do actually recognise so that's worrying all right just don't get embarrassed boys that's all we can ask here we're the underdogs let's go get a bit of an upset and let's put let's go to play barnsley which is what i think all the players want it's not exactly going to encourage them is it to play beyond their own levels here playing bar like get, 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 the prize is barnsley but this will be interesting to see how we fare against a genuinely like decent side a good league one team and um, we are what three tiers below them so let's, ex let's not expect any miracles here it's a free kick to Coventry early on, and it's cleared and blocked, and oh my goodness me. And now a counter-attack? Maybe? I mean, it's gone from hitting our bar. No, okay, it's cleared. It was very pinball-y. That's the phrase I think we all use. They were, they've, they're they all focused after a little bit of chat. Again, I, we're composed at the moment. No need to chat. Edwards is on a booking. The chance of Ebanks Blake coming on increase. Free kick. Edwards, 20 yards out, if that would have gone in. We're having more possession than them, which is interesting, because we're playing like a relatively direct style. 
but we're keeping the ball better than they are as uh, they've now got a throw in though and we've got to defend astutely concentration is key here gang as there we clear it away our clearances are never very good it always sets up another chance every single time it feels like loads of space on that side surely this is going to be the first goal of the game I mean they've got they feel like they've got so much time over there they continue to get it back after we clear it again and again and finally Liam Kelly finds the back of the net I feel like in that instance there it was coming free kick just before half time this could really settle it it's knocked off the bar there's a temptation to like proper go for this now I might have formation man this up in an attempt to just rattle the cage unlucky boys things I'm gonna write for us let's keep them relatively confident I might take out a midfielder and just put in another striker because I don't really have wide players so what I'm thinking is Oxley Chamberlain's come off we'll put Ewanks Blake up top through the middle poaching and then Jones in the middle. And while that doesn't look overly impressive, I like it. I'm just all I'm thinking is that they're gonna have a lot of like they're gonna have a lot of the ball anyway. But if when we get the ball, we can actually do something with it. Let's change these boys around actually. Target man in the centre. He banks bikes poaching up on that side. Well, just give me some time with this. Give it like I don't know. Give it time to work. Our fullbacks are very attacking, right? So that's going to be fine. Everything else remains pretty much the same. We just lose a tiny bit of balance in the midfield, but do create a little bit more attacking threat in theory. i have got to say, after the first few minutes of this, it's not been, it's not gone badly for us as it's cleared and uh, put back forward again. They're always going to control the midfield, is my, is my theory. That's that ball over the top. I mean, that's hardly them outplaying my midfield. Flipping heck. 2-0, which is disappointing. One ball over the top, devastation. We've not had we've had one shot on target all game as uh, they pile forward again. Every single clearance is so bad. There must be a way to fix that because it's every single time. I don't know if we're just really bad at heading or just like level wise we're just not there. But every time we have to deal with something, it is rubbish. Can we get a goal though against a League One side? I mean, that would that would at least make me a little bit happy. As minivans on the ball, surely this is the, it. Might shoot from there. Ball played in. Oh, Williams! Oh, that would have been the moment, wouldn't it? At least to beat Barrow. I mean, there's a positive. I feel like Coventry now are going to be a little bit fitter than we are, a little bit technically better than we are. I mean, a lot technically better than we are. And this might end up four or five. I've brought on Slew for Edwards. I'm not expecting a great deal. God damn it. Lucky Coventry getting to play Barnsley. Oh, is it, I wish we were in that position. I do kind of wish we were because then we'd have beaten Coventry, which would have been good. Uh, it looks, though, as if despite this attack here, that's going to be time up. Yeah, I, th I think that might be it, referee. Please just blow now. Have mercy. Please have mercy. And there it is then. It's over. Coventry 3, Boston 0. You do kind of wonder how would we have done if Matthew Smith uh wasn't suspended that does that's gone through my mind a little bit i'm not gonna lie to you uh that is though gonna bring us uh, to an end of today's double upload day i hope you've enjoyed it. if you have enjoyed both episodes do drop a like on today's as well and uh, next time we meet we'll probably be around the january period so we might be seeing from a certain friend who likes transfers i'll see you again very soon for more we love with care if we don't spend it until next time goodbye <sighs> fa cup dream over i will say though 130,000 we got for that game ding dong